Hey guys, my name is Samo and you're watching Technoride. Looking for your next Steam Origin or even Windows CD keys? Fear not, cause G2A has the most freaking awesome deals ever. Log on to G2A today via the link below and also save some bucks on your next purchase. What's going on guys? Welcome to Technorad by Technology. It's done right. So um, today I'm going to give you a tutorial, another tutorial on an emulator for the PS3. So previously I did a tutorial on the PS, PCSX2. Yeah. And oh my god, the reaction for the video was like off the roof guys. Like you just went haywire. And I was like really satisfied with your reaction. So Thank you for all the likes, the comments, and yeah, we are at 170 subscribers. Thank you so much, and like, yeah, you guys, you guys are the best. Okay, so today I'm here with another tutorial. Um, as I said for the piece, uh, for the PS3. Okay, so um, uncomputers are just great. Okay, so um, this video was uh, inspired by a. Uh, guy named jimmy waltz yeah i think that's his name so um bro if you're watching this uh thanks a lot for asking me like he told me that there was a, a emulator for the ps3 and will i be doing a video on that and i was like is there an emulator and i went to find out and yeah there was and yeah so i'm here i am so thank you bro and Thanks for your help. So here we are. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Okay, so um, the first thing you will need to download is the software itself. So you are going to go to the um, so the software name is rpcs3.net. Um, I mean rpcs3. The website name is .net. So um, what we are what are we going to do? We are going to go to this website, which is the link in the description below. So don't hesitate. Okay, so you're going to scroll down in the home page. You're going to scroll down right to the bottom and you're going to see here minimum requirements. Okay, so um, I had experience with this guys. So a few days back I went, I downloaded the software to see how it works. I was using my GT210. So yeah, um, don't judge me. So I was using my GT210 and the software, the game, everything just worked fine. But the moment I installed the game and opened it up, there was like no video at all, only audio. So I can't see anything. It was like blank screen and there was only sound. So the moment I upgraded my GPU to the Radeon 5830 and and now I'm getting like freaking um, the video at like ultra settings or something like that. So yeah, um, I'm telling you, so if you have if you're an NVIDIA guy and you have an NVIDIA graphics card so your system, make sure it's, it's above the 400 series. And if you are a Radeon guy, make sure your uh, graphics card is above the HD 5000 series. So, yeah. Um, and I think that's about it. Also, please make sure that your Windows is 64-bit or just 64 bit and make sure your processor is um four point um your processor supports sse3 and your gpu as i said supports 4.3 okay ram so 4 gb is minimum and recommended is eight so yeah i'm sticking with eight okay so that's pretty much it and i'm not sure if this method works on the windows 10 os so if Windows 10, any of you there using on Windows 10, um, try this method and it, it worked, put them down in the comments. I'll like gladly hear that it works for you. But if not, I won't know. But I will try here because my laptop is using Windows 10. So I will try that. So if you see me, my comment or any other comment, so you'll know how, whether it works. Okay, so I'm blabbering a lot. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so um, let's go to the menu menu here and you can see three lines go to uh, compatibility and you'll see all the games that are compatible with it 
sorry guys this is going to be a very long video so um yeah please stick with me so you'll be seeing here all the playable so for now um the april 20th of april 2017 there's only 6.98 percent which is seven percent that is playable on this um emulator so maybe there are more few upgrades in the future so let's go to downloads okay and then you will see um the nightly builds for windows click on it and it will take you to app wire and you can click on this and it'll be downloaded and you'll have the um rar file okay so that's done you have this file so what you do you're going to click uh, you're going to create a new folder name it um, rpcs2 rpcs3 i'm sorry open it up open the um yeah okay open the uh rar file copy each and everything into here perfect oh okay so um yeah the moment okay so i'm not sure for in the future there'll be upgraded i'll be um damn sure that there'll be more upgraded versions of this so if you're watching the future um which is kind of weird for me so if you're watching the future and it doesn't work for you this method i'll be having this particular version in my google drive in the link description below so you're going to click and you're going to and you can use this version but if you want to go with the latest version it's your wish but um as i'm doing this video now so if i um get any errors i would know how to solve it since i'm using this version okay so yeah it's like a win-win game so if you want this particular version it'll be in, the, in my in the link description below and you can get this from my google drive also the lle modules will be in the link uh, will be the link will be in the description below from to my google drive to download this two files also okay so um we're going to click on the lle modules good bring it out right into this folder okay it's done x that out okay so you have this so now the moment you should get two errors uh, one is the msvcp 140.dll is missing and the moment you download and put it in it should it should ask vc runtime so um let's go download both of them so the dl dash files.com will be in the link the link will be in the description below so don't hesitate to go in click on it okay so we're going to go for the msvc what was it just now dang i tend to forget a lot okay so it's msvcp vcp 140 okay so download the 140 and not the 140d so we're going to scroll down in the 64 bit version Okay, down, download's gonna start. Okay. So, um, okay. Going to take this and copy it straight into your folder here. Okay, and the moment you open, you're gonna say VC runtime 140. So, um, do the same thing. Okay, go to DLL. Uh, okay, so it's 64 bit. Download it. Hurry up, dude. Hurry up. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so you're going to copy this file into the root of this folder. Close that. Okay. Refresh and open, and your software should open. If, um, you get still get errors download the ddl files and put until it opens okay okay guys we are back so um this now what i did that was uh so horrendous okay so what i did i just copied the whole lle modules folder in there so that's bad so you have to open this and you have the folder name def and underscore flash i'm going to copy that folder not the whole lle module folder okay so the moment you have that you're going to open this then you're going to go to um config 
settings and then you're going to check all these files all these four files okay so you're going to check them out go x and then you can go to graphics leave it to open gl um also just leave it default and then um d3d adapter so people say they have problems here but with this disabled i don't have any problem okay so yeah just follow this so um you can go to system and then it'll be in japanese default make it to english us and then click on okay okay so um now we're going to go to um download the games yay finally the games okay so um the fold this link for this uh, for this game thing will be in the description below so we're going to packages packages here then you're going to type in uh, street fighter don't worry i have tested it with other games which is on that compatibility list which i showed you just now so just don't sweat it so this is going to go super street fighter 2 turbo hd okay so one thing i found out that europe version intend to work more better in this version of the rpcs3 than the us version so i tried to download um Rayman Origins and from USA and it didn't work but the Europe version worked. So yeah, make sure it's Europe. Okay, then you're going to go to download wrap and then you're going to download package. So you, you have that both files which is here. I have my wrap and I have my package. So you're just going to open the RPCS3 here. Or I have another one open. You can close that. So I'm going to go to um Okay, hold on. So I'm going to go to the RPCS folder, go to HDD 0 home EX data 001 EX data, and I'm going to um, take the RAP folder and I put it in here. Okay, close that, refresh, open your this thing, go to boot, and type in install PKG. Not type, just click. Then open the PKG file. It should unpack and you have this and then the moment you click on it you should get this error so no biggie no problem people say that they have this error but it's very very simple to solve so let's solve it okay so you're gonna go dev flash just follow this um, thing sys external and then you have all this here and then just type in lib key, LIB key to char okay click on it f2 go to this extension after the dot and type in s enter and then you say you want to change the extension of course and yeah just click on the file and you should get multiple so yeah keep on doing this until the game starts so you're going to do one and then uh, click on the game again to see whether your version works or not so it's pretty simple actually to solve this thing click it again and it's going to say lip 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 so click on f2 this thing is brx change and then it should open the moment it changes i have changed before so I might not get as many so uh, if you don't hear any sound now in this video because I have my uh, audio system off so um, you will hear sound guys so it will be working like this it will be perfect so it's okay let's see the game works we'll click enter single player arcade mode uh, then you can navigate wonderful okay so i really suck at this game okay so that's basically on it guys that's all you're going to do this uh, repeatedly so make sure the games you download is in the compatibility list and yeah you should not have one problem um and i think that's about it also guys if you want to uh control the controls for your keyboard you're going to go to config patch settings and then you can just assign everything here no biggie 
so that's about it and the, and I and the video is pretty long so sorry guys if the video will I know you would have skipped through so yeah that's about it please like share comment and of course don't forget to subscribe and I'm out